So you've got a physical copy of Bioshock that is non-Steam related. Um, and it says here you need internet connection for activation. And basically, um, 2K has a... I think they've closed off the activation server because when you try to install the patch for the game during the installation process, um, it fails um, with this error message. And I'll put an error message on the screen, which is pretty annoying. So this tutorial goes for how to actually activate the game. Um, without having to connect to the activation server. Um, so we're going to go through how to install the patch um, manually online, as well as um, I believe there's also a patch on the uh, physical disk as well that you can actually just literally install into the game. I don't know why they just didn't access that patch instead, but I think it's just in case they come up with new patches in the future, probably is the reason. Um, anyway, so I'm going to walk through that for you guys and resolve the problem. Okay. Cool. So, um, let's begin the uh, setup process, and uh, you'll see the issue appear. Um, so basically, you want to open up your, you know, your CD. If you've got autoplay set up on your Windows machine, um, and you're not a dope like me, um, then you shouldn't have to go into the disk itself. But um, I've inserted the disk, so here it is here. I've opened it up, and I'm just going to run the setup.exe. You should see a similar file in your, um, your CD as well. Yep. So we'll just wait for that. Uh, yep, English. So you basically go for all your preferences, whatnot. Continuous installation. Installation window pops up. Welcome to install wizard. Yep, great. Next. Accept. Next. I have a custom location that I am going to put it in. So anybody who uses this computer. Um, yep, so browse. I'm going to put it on a um, separate drive where I put a lot of my games on. As a, and I've got Bioshock right here. So this is the location to Bioshock on my machine here. Um, we'll go next. And we'll go install. And so what it'll start doing is it'll start installing. Um, it'll create a builds directory and a contents directory. Within the builds directory, it'll create a release um, directory as well. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to copy um, the Bioshock directory itself, once the error appears, move that directory, uh, copy that directory to a different location, and then um, once we've copied the Bioshock directory to a different location, we'll, uh, we'll actually install the patch to that, that new location, then move it back, and then run the patch within the um, release directory. It's a bit of a, yeah, it's a bit of a, Bit complicated explaining it, but um, I'll show. I'll take you guys through it step by step. If you don't understand, if you didn't understood what I said, then so that's that's fine. Um, so basically, yeah, I'll just probably skip through this whole ins installation process. Okay, so here's where we come to the error. So it, it attempts. It basically tries a couple of attempts, um, and so I've skipped the whole you know installation process here. Um, and so yeah, it makes a couple of attempts. Um, it tries to download the. And the download server is not responding, basically, because 2K decided to make an activation server for this game, and they've apparently um, shut it down. <laughs> so, you, if you feel uh, appreciated as a customer, uh, this is a, a fantastic time to have some gratitude for that. <laughs> anyway, so, to resolve this annoying issue, basically you do not want to cancel this leave it alone because you cancel this it'll delete it'll wipe all the contents in your um, installed directory so if you saw previously in the um, installation uh, what directory I installed it in so I installed it in this directory so you can see that it's created a builds directory like I said before and a release directory cool awesome so let's go one level up here and let's copy the whole Bioshock directory and I'm just going to move it into, you can copy it to any directory you want. I'm just going to copy it into one directory up. It doesn't really matter. So we copy it. So when we cancel the installation, we don't lose everything. We've got a copy of it. Okay, so once that copies successfully, um, what you want to do is you want to go to your downloads directory and basically grab the um, the patch that you installed so um, so you basically I'm gonna provide the link for this patch in the description um, but there is if you look into the DVD ROM there should be I think it's in so now no it's not in there forgive me uh, patches that's it um, there should be a patch within here itself that you can um, I think this is that you can just write it yourself or you can extract it 
um, you can extract it directly into the directory. So that's kind of a last resort if you can't, if the link that I provide um, basically sends you to a dead end. And there's also a patch readme in here as well. Um, that basically just shows you the changes, cool. Um, but yeah, it's recommended that you download the patch online because that will be the guarantee the latest patch um, as opposed to, you know, this patch, which is, you know, how many patches back. So yeah, I'll provide the link for this patch in the description, but what we want to do is we want to basically copy this patch. I uh, want to extract this patch into our uh, Bioshock, in the, into the copied Bioshock directory, not the original one, the copied one, because the original one will be um, deleted once we cancel uh, this installation process here with Rapture. Um, so let's basically extract 7-zip here. Oh, we want to go to. I'm using 7-zip. I'll also provide a link in the description for 7-zip. It's just a convenient way to extract the files. Um, so we can select, uh, let's see here. We can just basically select, yep. Yeah. So let's find our directory where we installed it. So I installed it, of course, in games, my Sega Drive games. And, and yep, yeah. so again, we want to put it in the copy directory and we want to put it into builds and release. It's very important they put it in a copied Bioshock builds release and that should be good. Um, so we go, okay. Cool, so we've got the right directory there, awesome. And you wanna, probably if you got this, you wanna uncheck this, cause you wanna basically, all the files, you don't wanna create another directory within the release directory, you just wanna extract whatever files are in this um, patch directly into the release directory. So, okay, everything looks pretty good here, don't need a password, we'll go okay. Cool, so, We'll check in the directory, Bioshock directory itself. We'll go to builds, release, and you should see the Bioshock.exe. So this is the patch itself. Great, fantastic. So let's go to games. We can see we've got Bioshock there. So what we're gonna, apologies if you can hear people in the background. So let's minimize this here. And now we can just cancel the installation process. Yes, I do wanna cancel the setup, finish. So yeah, so basically when we cancel it, it goes, okay, so you cancel it, so we'll clean up the directory where you installed it. So if we look into the original directory, we can see that there is nothing in there. So we'll just delete this original directory here. We'll go one directory up where we put it, or where I put it rather, and we'll basically copy the Bioshock directory back to its original location again. There we go. We got it back into its original location. We go into release, and we want to run the patch. Give it a little bit of time. And then we see Bioshock pops up there. And that's that's it. That's how you pretty much bypass this annoying activation issue. Um, so it might also ask you for your license key. It has not asked me now because I uh, prior to this uh, video, I have installed it um, yesterday and already put in the license key. So it seems to be pretty happy with that already, which is pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's how you resolve this uh, this issue. Um, if you've got any questions, just um, you know, leave me a comment below. Um, hopefully, we can get a result. Yeah.